Hey guys, I'm uh, posting this video because when I was starting this project uh, I didn't see a whole lot of other videos on YouTube uh, trying to explain what to do, what I'm doing here. So, uh, Just so you know, I have a 2005 Tahoe. Um, it had the Bose factory uh, sound system in it. It's the non-luxury. It uh, came in vast majority of Tahoes as far as I know. Uh, as well as uh, most Yukons that are non-Denali. Um, but what I had was a stock head unit, which had some bulbs burned out, and uh, was, you know, the buttons were worn off and just looked kind of kind of nasty, and I uh, wanted to get rid of it. And I uh, did a little bit of digging and figured out that uh, the Bose system is quite a bit different than uh, most other factory audio systems in that uh, it runs everything through factory amps which are located underneath your center console. Um, the reason that's different is typically a head unit will put high level speaker outputs uh, out to the speakers directly. Um, the Bose system runs everything through these internal amps. So what you have is a factory head unit that's putting out low level uh, speaker signal uh, which is meant to go through an amp and be amplified and then sent out to the speakers. Uh, most aftermarket head units have high-level outputs coming directly out of the radio. That's what you would wire into the factory harness and that would run all your, your stock speakers. So it's a little bit different. Uh, you need a uh, interface module. And the hardest part about the whole process is figuring out which module you need. So I thought I would uh, just post up with what I had to use and what worked. Um, the uh, GMS-0404 uh, signal or uh, interface is what I used. Uh, it's made by a manufacturer called Access. That's A-X-X-E-S-S. -S. Uh, you find them on Amazon. They're about 80 bucks. So, I mean, they're a little on the pricey side, but it does eliminate the need for your... Um, your your normal wiring harness that you would need to buy which is about you know 15 bucks so I guess that's something so anyway when you uh, you get this harness it looks a little intimidating because it does have a lot more uh, wire connections than you uh, you normally see in a wiring harness but uh, it's it's not all that bad you typically have to wire your speaker leads a constant power a, uh, a switch power and a ground to your wiring harness uh, it's it's not much more complicated than that there's a few other things a few other wires but if you follow the diagram you'll be just fine um, yeah that's about it all I was looking to do is upgrade the head unit I left all the stock uh, speakers the same the sound quality is, is still really good um, I may look at upgrading the uh, speakers at some point, but uh, in order to do that, you you do need to upgrade. And I shouldn't say you need to. There's probably a workaround, but uh, it seems like the easiest way is to take out the factory Bose amp and replace it with another four channel, and then you'll be good to go. So that's it. I just wanted to to give people that tip. If you have a uh, you know anything from a 2001 to a 2006 Tahoe. That has the UQ7 RPO code, which is the non-luxury Bose sound. Um, you need a GMS-04 uh, harness interface. And uh, you wire it in like you normally would a, a, a wiring harness to put a new deck in. And you'll be good to go. Everything works. Your door dingers work. Uh, all that other fun stuff that runs through the, the stock stereo works just fine. So... That's it. Uh, if I end up upgrading the amp and the speakers, I will post another video that's more of a step-by-step how-to, showing you what you have to do in every, uh, every step. So, Thanks. Hope this helps somebody out.